Meghan Markle here. Today is March 28, 2024. It is 11.27 p.m. So I start early. That was supposed to be for the 29, but I start early. It took me a while to put some uh, tweets together for you guys. And it seems like there were some tweets, old tweets, I did not share. So I'm going to share them, um, about five of them, and new tweets that came. Because I've been stuck on uh, March 25th. I think I recorded like three or four videos that day. So it took me a while to um, edit them. It took me maybe four days to edit them. <laughs> so I'm back on track now. I need to do this. Let me grab this link. And uh, let's just view some of those numbers really quick. Feel free to skip this. All right, 3,872 subscribers. New subscribers, welcome. I, I'm so behind with things. I need to make uh, thumbnails, a lot of thumbnails. Look at this. Well, I made the, um, the last one that I did yesterday, um, Six Degree of Separation, smearing Harry's name. That's regarding the PDD thing, and they include Harry's name in it. When he's only an example I don't know if Harry is going to do something about that. Fox News mentioned his name and the, the court paper mentioned his name. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, I did the thumbnails for that. But look at all of these. I need to do thumbnails. I should have been doing thumbnails right now for them instead of creating new videos. But I don't feel like doing it. So it's going to take me forever. When I'm in the mood for something, if, if I'm in the mood for it, I could do it really quickly, but I'm going to push myself and struggle, waste the entire time when I could just record it and, you know. But anyway, so again, let's just look at the numbers. This is the analytics. So there's a little peak here. The amount, $230.77. I'm laughing at this number because um, in one of the comments um, that I got on my community board, someone says something that i'm doing this for money guess what i would love to make a lot of money on those videos okay but there has to be some sort of a passion and the stupidity that i see going on and uh, this is why i don't mind getting up early to make those videos but anyway i could waste so much time talking about this so let's go on twitter okay so we got the numbers always feel free to skip these things and i believe this is that one right let me make sure okay yeah so that's the first tweet and it was back let's see when march 25th like uh three days ago okay so let's get started first tweet kensington palace and william are struggling to contain kate gate hide his incompetent leadership and fits of incandescent rage so William can ascend to the throne. Will he become king of fantasy kingdom? <laughs> fantasy kingdom. Very interesting. So that, I mean, people everywhere are lying for him, doing all sort of things. Like I've said in some videos, the institution, those rich and powerful who's going around the world doing their stupidness, okay, they're hiding behind the institution, okay? So they could, they will protect the institution so they could do their stupidness and then the institution will somewhat, I guess, forgive them. The institution will forgive 
and protect them as well. And I think this is why they are able to do all those uh, uh, protection of the institution, trying to uh, blindside the public about what the institution is doing. It's almost like I said before, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. So as long the institution is protecting them, they'll do their best to protect the, uh, the institution. But for them, it's easier for them to lie to the people, but when they deal with the world, that's where the institution come and play, uh, play ball to protect them, their interests. I don't know. But anyway, I know they say it's a constitutional monarchy, but there's so many crazy things that's going on. Some, they just go and uh, apply rules and regulation uh, as they see fit. But for every little person, it's a different story. You see what's going on in the U.S. right now. Okay, so she retweeted that. You aren't going to believe this, but in an interview with the, is it I? I newspaper. Is it independent? Independent newspaper and BBC Director General Tim Davy. It said, quote, Kensington Palace chose BBC Studio, the cooperation commercial wing, to shoot the Princess of Wales video announcement that she is being treated. Where is it? That she is being treated for cancer in part because the broadcaster's involvement will prevent any wild speculation about its veracity. I mean, if you're doing the thing for real, so what do you care what anybody else is saying? If what you are recording is the truth and is actually the person is saying it, so why do you care? Look, even if she was doing it on her uh, bed, I think you'll be more credible than doing this crazy thing. <laughs> look at the chair, the, the bench, I mean. One side, look at the, uh, what do you call this? The, the, the things behind the, the chair, the bench. Look at the intervals, all right? These are closer, and then you have this huge thing. I mean, whatever. These people are lying to themselves. Anyway, let's move. Oh, let's see here. Let me read this. Uh, Actually, just these three uh, comments here. Was it in the Blue Peter Garden? Okay, what the F is while well, speculation anyway? There is a word speculation, which is what people do to fill in the gaps and the total absence of credible and believable information. It is not well. It's just trying to make sense out of the vacuum. That's a pretty, pretty much sums it up. Yeah. Pardon? This is the same BBC who had a known sex abuser, Jimmy Seville, working for them for years and turned a blind eye because he bought them reading and money. That same BBC, they want us to trust. This is sad. This is sad. Sad in the sense where people values, core values, integrity go out the window as long money comes in. I mean, mm. If something doesn't bring you happiness, what's good it is? Okay, next tweet. This is Henry the Eight. Has anyone else noticed that UK headline reads, quote, Will and Kate spotted, end quote, while the actual photo are either not recent or not actually of Will or Kate? What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I responded to that. Kate may be dead last December. It's nothing wrong to show her real face and her real voice. The latest was just a robot, a um, AI-generated Kate. Most of the nation got full. Can't condemn fake video because Kate said cancer funny world. <laughs> and so, let me see here. Okay, they don't want to be scrutinized and analyzed. Glad the world already learned about their deceptive behavior before they went to their second deceptive behavior. Oh, YouTube now is asking when I upload something if the video has AI generated kind of thing. I don't know. It, it happened when I upload uh, which video? The, my latest one. They just did that. Okay, and this video. Um... Okay, so let's go to the, let's see what other people are saying still. Okay, I've never seen the palace come team in such a disarray. The two palaces seem to be doing in separate direction. This is the thing, they're not working as one. And you know why, you know, that third in the marriage is the one who's probably creating the chaos and division. 
um, Buckingham Palace very much in the style of the old school, keep on and carry on style, while KP seems to be failing every which way. There's a reason for that. When the, he has become the distraction for them. Okay, he doesn't even know that. He's become the distraction for the father and the other one because right now, this is their time. This is their time. So instead of the bashing, the negative headline about them because of, you know, the three in the marriage kind of thing. So now they shift the focus, the disobey, the negative part on the other palace. Okay. Um, the tabloid are just spinning plates because of money. And the helicopter flying out them, letting us know they were flying out together. Oh, that's that. I, I don't put it on the list, but I remember sharing it on my community board where this one, they put a GIF of a woman looking, squinting her eyes, who's in the helicopter. And the paper saying it's, uh, what is it, William and Kate or something like that. Nobody saw them going and nobody can see them in the helicopter. It could be just any random picture of a helicopter. Like why show us the helicopter and the horizon? We want to see them walking toward it on the ground. Then it will make sense. All right, I beg to ask the question. Okay, will we see Kate walking to church on Easter Sunday? That's a quick question. They'll make up something. They will make up something. She went shopping the other day. <laughs> They're twisting themselves on so many levels. All right, next tweet. Squad is, does that article bother any of you? Baldelac. Okay, the squad will not like this at all. I think it has to do, is this one. I have it. The link will be in the description. Okay. All right, let's see here. I'm going to go into it. Okay, so that's an archive version of it. The link will be in the description. Okay, Sussex Squad inside the sinister world of the Sussex Squad online trolls making Kate Middleton life a misery <laughs> with bullying and lies. Really? I never start any tweets. I'm just responding to the headlines. Okay, they branch them. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to read it. Okay, look at that chair here. That alone, we question this kind of things. Does the chair look kind of real? How come the pattern of these, whatever they call, in the back, and all of a sudden, it's shift here? Okay, you could see the spacing. Something very simple like that. All right, so I'll leave that for you guys to check. Only the archive version of it. Let me read some of the comments here. It is so weird to see trolls be anti-bullying advocates, right? There's that. What article? Just lagging on. So she just put that. Okay, where is the article? There it is again. All right. That article was written by someone straight out of kindergarten. <laughs> now, nah, it's just ugliness we play over and over. If they come for Harry and Megan, they're going to come for us because we love and support them. I'm not bothered because I consider the source. There's the laugh here. I never laugh so hard. Baldy luck should be bothered, not us. Oh my God. I decided not to share that part, okay? That baldy luck thing that's going on. The images of William, it's ridiculous. I decided not to share them with you. <laughs> oh my God. They can all go kick wax. Nope, I'm laughing at the stupid writer. I have never been prouder. Okay, so you guys could read that on your own because I have a lot to share with you. The link will be in the description. Okay, I'm... Next tweet. There's that here. What is that about? Okay, there's the laugh here. The scream that I scrum. Okay. On the Sussex Squad Instagram page, members peddle dangerous conspiracy theories about Kate's cancer operation, including allegations she does not have the disease. A blog on its main website insult Prince William's hairline and a bizarre bob referencing the late Princess Diana. <laughs> Who's whose Sussex Squad uh, page are they talking about? Branding him baldy like oh so that's where it came from branding him baldy locks it states quote william is bald because his mother reached down from heaven and snatched <laughs> i swear the squad have something you should see the images i decided not to share them with you 
because it's too ridiculous. I'll laugh too much, waste my time trying to edit out my laughter. Okay, branding him baldy like it states, quote, William is bald because his mother reached down from heaven and snatched her fine Spencer jeans back. <laughs> William's hairline was also snatched in the bus. <laughs> oh my god, this is why now I see why all these images were coming. <laughs> this is literally me. <laughs> That's me like this is why I didn't put the pictures because I'll be laughing too much. Okay, who the heck wrote this? Anyways, I had a hearty laugh. <laughs> that was a good one. By the way, is there a Sussex Squad Instagram page? <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay, what's funny too is the fact some of us never even saw that IG post until they would have bought it. Bloop. <laughs> They're the one who's doing their stupidity and then they're writing about it again. Whoever wrote that article is not going to, is not, do <laughs> oh my God. Let me stop laughing. Okay. Whoever wrote that article is not doing that prince any favors. Okay. So that's an ad. They are not doing him any favors. Ha <laughs> ha. That's the laugh. Let's move on. Oh my Lord. So this was somewhat recent. Why do I put it on the... Okay, I don't know. Maybe I miscategorize it. Because this is like today I was saying it. Okay, so this is the last one for the old sort of tweet. Okay? Um, all I have to say is I wish them everything they wish for Meghan Markle. Nothing more, nothing less. Look at this. That was during the Queen's funeral. Okay, Meghan really ate them up and that cape. That's for sure. I always found this series of photos sad because some... Okay, so many. Uh, that's a spelling thing here. I always found this other. I always found this series of photos sad because so many of them seem to show Charlotte wanting to talk to Megan and not being allowed to. Okay, I didn't really, as much as I share with you regarding the funeral, I didn't really sit down and watch everything. Okay. Oh, I think we are seeing Karma and her friend. Uh, disgrace visiting Salt Island right now. Okay. Anytime I see this scene, I wonder what's going through the heads of those children. I bet it's not what their parents will want, will want or assume. Okay. Charlotte, quote, why aren't they, okay. Charlotte, why aren't they talking to that lady, that mean, George, shush, that's Uncle Harry's wife and she's colored. That, I mean, I'm going by this, but we do not know. But, they're teaching them very young, uh, unfortunately. Only one with any class that day. Megan is so beautiful and pure class. No fancy jewelry required. And certainly not jealous smirk. All right, so that's an ad. Let's move on. So now I am more into the more recent ones. I have about 11 tweets. All right, so let's go through them really quick. Really quick. All right, so this video is going to be in screenshot. This is a squatty. And um, she pretty much sums up what's been going on. Okay, this is why I put it first on the new tweet. Uh, it's even though it's in the middle of the video, but uh, the way that I sort of uh, list them. Okay, it's just it's just me again rubbing down my hands after finishing up in the kitchen, just saying, uh, just saying how hilarious and desperate some entities are acting. All right. So she pretty much summing up everything that happened from, I guess, December up to now, sort of, two minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. Screenshots only. Social media scramble about uh, on the internet. Very fun to watch. Listen, in January and February and even in early March, there was a complete silence from the palaces and even the British media had no idea what was going on. And they were being lied to also. But now, over the last week and a half, since they've been let back into the loop, and you know they've been let back into the loop by the concubine, it's the concubine running this. Anyway, they've been let back into the loop and since then... Let me pause for a second. The part where they didn't come out and say things, because there something happened okay something devastated probably happened they were 
brainstorming. They were trying to find out how they could break the news to the people. Okay, so this is why we didn't hear about them. And then while they were brainstorming, doing that thing, all this is my humble opinion, by the way, the internet was talking, which is what she's saying now. I just feel in the gap where there was nothing coming from the palace and where they were somewhat silent. I'm moving it back slightly, okay? By the concubine. It's the concubine running this. Anyway, they've been let back into the loop and since then, they want to be or return to being the primary, the singular authority on telling the story of the British royal family. The problem is during the silence from January and February, regular internet citizens came and filled the gap That's a and brought the stories. And they were quite credible too. Regular moms, dads, Mr. Degree, Miss High School, regular housewife brought the news. So all the type of Sussex squad we have from different generation, we all were there in different economic background. As long as you support of Harry and Megan, we were still talking while they were brainstorming. And when they finally came up with, a, a, I guess, a storyline to tell us whatever story that they want to tell us, we already ahead of them and let's not forget what was happening uh some squaddies who are spanish okay who live in spain or something like that were bringing in some of the headlines that were going on in spain okay keep that in mind as we continue listen to her now that they've been let back into the loop the british media needs to return control to itself but it's scrambling to do so it's having trouble doing so and why is that one, they're not credible at all. It's obvious they, they, the leak spittle reporting is just too much to swallow. And they went silent for too long. And they were left out of the loop by the palace for too long. So now here they are, blaming Russia, blaming mm -hmm. China last week. And they needed to blame Russia and China because they need to say whoever is reporting on the internet, regular mom and dad, they are not credible. But they can't call regular mom and dad mm -hmm. not credible. So they have to blame an ostracized entity like Russia and China that the West would normally set aside anything they say as propaganda. But that did not stick. Nobody believed it was Russia and China. Mm -hmm. So now, this week, they blame Sus Sussex Squad. <laughs> regular, ordinary people. Because they need to be in control. It's not working though. Okay, I mentioned something about that in one of my videos. About them wanting to be in control of things. They, they effed up. They effed up. All the time that they were not there. It's whatever the incident that happened. And they didn't know how to break the news. And they know who's responsible for that. So they're trying to protect that particular person. Allegedly. So now, the brainstorming that they were doing, they have a clear picture. How are they going to present that sort of entertainment to us? I don't know. This is the way they call their stuff, entertainment. So there was a step one, like I said. They, and not in this video, in many other videos I've said before. They stuck in a certain stage. That stage is to convince us that... This is Kate. Whatever pictures that they did, and it was debunked. Whatever videos that they put, they were all debunked. Okay? So they want to convince us this is her. And then when she come out with that cancer thing, okay, which could lead, I said in another video, I think I edited it yesterday. One of the um, probably March 25th videos. I think I did three videos. And that video one of them is that um uh the cancer usually for cancer the uh, now i from what i saw when i was editing the video and i look it up the percentage of survivor for cancer is greater now than before but usually you know it doesn't work well for the recipient of whoever had the cancer all right, so they use that particular sickness, which could lead 
to something devastating and this is where they will break the news to us that's what i think this is the image that I, my speculation without i'm just saying this is what i think because why they cannot show the real kate okay there's charles who has cancer he's going out shaking hand and do whatever why can't they show kate all right so that's that i mean they don't have to show her doing things even talking with her kids moving her head and stuff like that why everything has to be fake all right you had the bbc confirming what tmz had put out william walking with kate and then later on tmz come and debunked it and then the palace had already confirmed it was them and this is why uh, their narrative is not working and i think tmz doesn't want to be um i don't know look what happened to uh, fox news in the u.s they got sued for billions of dollars all right so let's read some of the comments here okay you got it bang on the head darling remember what i said to you ladies last week hmm? okay i'm coming for those earrings okay she's talking about her thing so there's me here saying she's correct why are you gorgeous hey beautiful okay so they just uh responding to other things not the content of what she was saying next tweet i'm not saying she's not beautiful she is but it's just i want to focus on the topic at hand all right next tweet fake kate timeline by the sun when Prince William and Kate Middleton's media partner, the son starts to engage in sort blatant revisionist history with this fake Kate timeline. How can you blame people thinking there's a cover up aided by their friend Victoria Newton, the son editor? No one saw William at her bedside. No one saw Kate leave the hospital when all exits had photographers stationed there and now we have a new sighting suddenly inserting into the timeline <laughs> this is why they don't like the squad the squad knows everything they're paying attention they're paying attention to them like a hawk okay um when was it reported that kate was seen watching her children which one okay playing sports on saturday 17 march and where was this in the depths of the where is kate mystery it's a case of photos or it didn't happen and you're straight up lying p.s march 22nd uh she revealed they had found cancer and now doing preventative chemo wasn't that the big news why is this report not mentioned she has cancer all right let's see here 22 I mean, I think, I, let's, it seems like they're giving us hint. They're giving us hint, but they don't want to be the one to say it. Because if they do, they probably will be in trouble. But they're giving us hint. All right, let's see here. She explained, quote, one of the factors of conspiratorial thinking is that it's immune to evidence. Quote, there's this, there there's this cognitive dissonance which is how people resolve the tension or discomfort when we feel we have contradictory information timeline of kate's health battle and recovery all right kate uh, is admitted to the london clinic for abdominal surgery okay so they want to keep with the narrative but they forgot they came out in public especially this one march 22 when she says she had cancer okay kate will i skip some stuff here kate release video reveals she has been receiving treatment for abdominal surgery but what about the cancer you even had the white house you know sending thought and prayers or whatever okay william spent time kate's bedside they said but nobody saw anything kate leave hospital okay onlookers see kate watching her youngsters playing sports march 17 mm anyway that's the thing here you could pause and, and finish with it okay laugh out loud ridiculous you said you need to get laid what what's this has to do with anything let's see here <laughs> i think that's called uh projection dude oh, what the hell where did that come from <laughs> they also miss out this detail palace confirmed kate Middleton is not undergoing cancer treatment after surgery <laughs> i'm 
sometimes they just throw things out without even thinking. And then they forget what they throw out. They don't go back to see what they throw out to match with their whatever current thing. So now it's abdominal surgery treatment. What the F? Okay. Um, the palace refused to confirm all the other sighting, but now they are off Kate. How can they call the one staring at the wall a photo of her? Whatever they are covering up is huge. They are protesting too much, trying to convince people. Mm-hmm. The whole world know there is a gigantic cover-up. Yep. Yep. Okay, this I'm not gonna play. Let me pause it. Eight minutes. There's no way. Okay, I'm really starting to believe some of these theories because why are they going through such length? I don't know. There's all of this as well. She left off the 12-28, December 28th hospital visit. Okay, when was that? Yeah, December 28th. I hope all is well at Sandrium. My spy and uh, Meryl Bourne just saw this convoy heading to the general direction of King Edward the Seventh Hospital at 8.30 this evening. So there's that. What is that now? Pierce also said the below and he seems to have inside royal family info. Pierce Morgan claims he has heard alarming things about Kate Middleton. <laughs> Probably making reference to what the Spanish people said. Kate Pierce Morgan has heard a uh, case repeating the same thing here. Okay, so there's all of that. Okay, why are they even doing this? I thought they said she need privacy and time out. I don't know. They go, they change the script as they go. The more they talk, the more I'm convinced that there's no longer together or she's no longer in the land of the living. There's that. I mean, I said my thing a long time ago, but I had to put allegedly because I don't know. It was my opinion on that thing, but I think I'm starting to be uh, correct. So there's this here. This is the squad who put this together and responds to this. Okay. I believe this is the original by Mirror. Th their version. Okay. Mirror, Harry, and the, there's all of this. And then the squad turned it around and said this. Prince William pictured with accused this. Sean Diddy come. Okay, war under Sussex is exclusive. What did they say here? <laughs> Ukraine war exclusive. Okay, traders, the media spread hate and lie. Okay, so that's that. Pretty much what she put there is actually true. Well, with the exception of this, okay, because Harry uh, and William were at the same party. But for some reason, they decided to only mention Harry's name. So this, she's making a reference. She just switched the brothers. All right. Um, well, if I get kicked off this app, it was nice knowing y'all. LOL. I'll post on Spotable. Link in my bio. Okay. She's already giving comment, uh, warning that, uh, they're not going to like this one. So if they kick her out, she'll be someplace else. All right. So that's that. Let's leave it alone. I shared it on my community board. Next tweet. All right. So this one, let's pause. I'm not going to read these. This is from the Jeremy Clarkson thing, but I will listen to Bojo sister. See what B um, BS she's spewing this time. Okay. The UK media said that Jeremy Clarkson was entitled to his free and savory opinion of Megan. Wow. Opinion of her to drag her. So maybe the reverse should happen to him then. Him being dragged the same way he mentioned Megan. Oh Lord. This is why sometimes I say baggage for God because once my human nature start talking, it's like, my goodness. Okay. However, the same media are now mad because people are expressing unsavory opinion of Kate Middleton, AKA princess of wealth. All right. So there's that here. You could pause and read it. I do not wish Megan. Okay. So there's read that. That's that. I'm sure he's got spicy view. Okay. So we're listening to her now. It's 39 seconds only. Oh, these people are so vile. I don't even think I want to listen. But for the sake of you who not who's not on Twitter, this is for you. Hopefully, I don't have anything to say. I'm sure he's got spicy views that uh, offend lots of people. But we live in a free country, as things stand, as of 2023. Mm. I would like to think that Nigel Farage can bank with coots, just as I... So this is all 2023. Okay, I thought that was more recent, but let's listen. I would like to think that Jeremy Clarkson is free to express his extremely unsavoury opinions about 
the Duchess of Sussex. That is the country I, I want to be in. I don't want to be in a country where banks and uh, you know newspaper bosses or regulatory authorities sit in judgment in a moral way over us. This is woke capitalism. I'm sure he's what? got spy woke capitalism. So, another word. Okay, let me get this straight. And the free society that she's talking about, everybody could run wild and say whatever they want, do whatever they want without any, any limitation at all. So now when the thing is being spewed back at you, so why are you guys all screaming or upset and blaming other people because of your stupidness? In a free society, okay, this is my opinion here. There has to be rule and regulation. And that those rules and regulation is just a guide. That way, everyone could be, how will I say that? Express themselves in a way that does not interfere in someone else's free will. So we could still do our own thing. And at the same time, we have, there's the part here. There is the part here. Respect. Respect other people's views and way of life. But you guys want to run wild. The way that she's talking, it's only for one group. But the other group should be limited. Oh, my goodness. God help us. God help us. God help us. She's a baggage for God. For someone who has a platform, this is the BS she's spewing. But this is all. I guess it was right around the time when Jeremy Clarkson thing came. I thought it was more recent. But let's see here. Okay, well, girl, we are free to express ourselves, to speak freely about your king, his concubine, Willie Licks, and AI KKK. <laughs> So when you all are try to shut us down, remember, we're living in a free world. Never complain. That's for sure. So there's me here. Uh, there must be something really. Okay. So I really, I didn't listen to it when I wrote this because I thought it was new and I knew I was going to share it with you. So I didn't listen to it. So th my comment here is responding to her um, caption. Uh, there must be something really good. They're cooking up on Salty Island to switch again. Once they can't handle it, what other country are they going to get involved? They got China in their mess of AI. They are baggage for God. Keep an eye on laws being implemented everywhere. They are sick. All right. Good to know that I can use my freedom of speech anytime. That's for sure. That's an ad. Okay. Is she worth it? Okay. Who are they talking about? Yeah, I don't know. That's a ad, I believe. Yes, it's always free speech until it interferes with the perception of their pets. Okay, so that's the thing here. The UK media wants to dictate the tone and pace of public comments regarding that family while continuing to abuse Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. It is open season on the royal family as far as I'm concerned. No mercy. <laughs> I'm laughing the way she said open season. Okay, translation echo. Uh, we want to continue to lead the abuse charge against Megan as we've done for eight years, but want to lead the propaganda talking point about other boys. All right, they're all a baggage for God. So that's the squad here. This is why they don't like the squad because we don't let them do their nonsense freely. Next tweet. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> I laugh at this for so long. I had to, I had to pause it. Okay, no photos of the general tension seeking meditants throughout this whole thing. No cage, which is appropriate. Just add based on the history. Kate records her big message alone. Okay, so she tweet retweet that. That's her back in twenty seven. Leaks that William was was not present when Kate filmed her BBC announcement. Kate enjoy lunch with Charles. Mm -hmm. I don't think I shared this headline, but I know what she's talking about because I saw those headlines. The best news will be that the kids are staying with their militant grandparents and have been spared all the trauma and drama of everything that has transpired since December. Okay, now I'm thinking the militant have been paid off. Could be. It crossed my mind. It crossed my mind. 
Carol Olon should be all over the press asking for prayers and sympathy for her daughters. For her daughter. I just hope wherever the kids are, they are right or as all right as they can be under the circumstances. Uh, turn off. Uh, okay, that's a ad. The one thing I will give Carol and Mike is that I think they are the stable rock for that well, kids. Um, I doubt it. If you see what Kate has become, like a doormat, I don't know. This is why I pray for them sometimes. I said, whatever miracle happened to Harry, I want it to happen to those kids as well. Because both sides, both sides, I just don't see. I don't see how there could be some sort of uh, enlightenment on those kids. When you look at, for instance, forget Kate. We already seen what has happened, how she behave and all of that. But look at the brother selling swastikas okay what kind of a something different they will teach them okay i don't know much about the paper well she did say i've heard things saying if you could smell and this whatever but i just don't see if all of the current kids now is like that and we've seen the uncle okay behavior so how is it gonna be di any different from the palace America need to strike over there. I've been saying this. I really don't see how the kids could be any different. I really don't. Whatever happened to Harry, I just wish it happened to those kids. That's all. Why am I saying that? Because they are Princess Diana's grandkids. Other than that, they will not exist to me. Uh, but once they become older, uh, adult age, okay, then they could uh, prove themselves if they've learned something or if they're gonna continue the parents behavior and all that we already heard one because the tabloid voted we heard one of the oldest i guess the future future have already repeated something that his father had said around his age so we could see the continuation of things and we just hope somewhere there's plop there's a brick wall that stop that stupidness from these kids from continuing because I just don't see how those kids are gonna be any different than what I'm already seeing from their parents. So the only thing that needs to happen is a miracle. It's a miracle that needs to happen. The same thing that happened to Harry. All right, let me read right there and then move. Okay, if something really bad did happen, they will have incentive to roll out AI generation just saying mm -hmm. uh, never before seen such a less unite front okay article and the independent just now is the okay I'm not gonna click on it because it's uh, the article if it was the archive Kate Middleton cancer news Kate didn't want William and her video for personal whatever so there's that here all right so that's the one the squad uh, changed the uh, what do you call this the the page the front page let's the same way they did with uh when megan won her lawsuit they then put uh, her picture in it and then the thing went uh, the text because it was part of the deal where she, uh, the paper was supposed to somewhat corrected uh, what they wrote instead of putting a big font they put it a very small page and then they tell you to go turn to page six or seven like that on another page but the squad went and changed the front page and put it huge and put images of megan okay i think there's two camps number one willie is separating himself from her he is pushing all fake pics and fam videos promoting all is good but for him remember the palace ha whatever the very first thing this is what sparked everything the mother day picture they put his name on it they said but now that it was a good thing, they put his name on it. It was him who took the picture. Now, once the picture have been debunked to say it's fake, you don't hear his name at all in it. They remove him from it. They switch it back and say that uh, Kate went in and did the Photoshop and all of this. Okay, for someone who's sick, instead of resting, doing all of this. So, the palace... William and all of them, they own that narrative. That's theirs. And then they, you would have thought they would put something 
more reasonable even tmz was saying will they go and continue that bs again they did the walkabout and then the palace confirmed it was william and kate everything was all good until they debunked them again so it's like it's all them because there is no way kate will have a say of saying this is the um this is them and then you know bbc went and confirmed it and then for the third time this is the three strike you out with her sitting on the bench and then when we find out it was an ai okay so who's owning what this is all the palace this is all them okay kate i don't know what happened to kate but the real one we cannot see that's all all right so let's go to the next one they own their narrative this is theirs uh, it's just that each bs they put out people debunk them next week the palace is exhibiting peak quote do what i say not as i do behavior they can leak and speculate about harry and megan but any speculation regarding charles or kid is inappropriate and this is the thing that i was saying with the bojo thing here they could do whatever they want but once we question them uh-uh i keep on saying during princess diana's time princess diana needed the squad all right for the record my current speculation is that both Charles and Kate's condition are much worse than they are letting on. Maybe Kate is not even there. Uh, why Charles is looking terrible, but honestly being a 75 year old man, having to undergo chemotherapy, already put him on the brink of death. <laughs> on the brink of death. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing about that, but the way she put it. As for her, I don't know. The way she described the diagnosis is certainly intriguing to say the least what is it then the cnn uh doctor already depunked it and said you know apologize to the palace and based on his experience as a professional okay in the field of medicine he doesn't think this is uh uh practical the way i didn't listen to the original did i maybe i did i just don't remember i remember the cnn one where the doctor was saying okay you don't go and to uh to surgery and uh what is it what was the term they use as if they uh they're gonna search for the cancer usually when you go for based on the cnn one okay i'm not a professional i don't know anything about the medical thing but based on what the doctor said before you even go to surgery they already know where to look for okay they're not gonna research on you it's like a freaking guinea pig or something all right can describe it in the past tense while the press ran with headlines in the present tense very confusing all right so let's see here uh to be honest i have no speculation regarding charles the change is his appearance from january to today is marked and he looks seriously ill i have not seen a, a verifiable princess was it pol photo of kate since christmas so can address the chaos that is kp uh right because she's not there okay looks like they're trying to give the impression that it's business as usual with a helicopter rides with really and kate Middleton and abuse for harry and megan <laughs> that's the picture of the uh a helicopter taking picture a picture of a helicopter taking from far away and they just said this is uh uh why is it william and kate well we're not putting up with the abusive behavior of our megan an american citizen and her lovely husband harry okay yes and they lose it if we even ask why did kp announce in january that kate's condition wasn't cancer it is not ethical for a doctor to tell you that you don't have cancer before pathology is back and why did the result take uh take over a month a whole human genome can be run in 24 hours okay i do not know anything about that this is twitter maybe she's in the field so i don't know okay i'm just reading that one next tweet okay i have three more after this so there's that here charles speaking in code to the brothers quote william get over it harry please come back <laughs> this is he's translating this headline here king charles says it is time for nation to extend the hand of friendship especially in a time of need and a personal easter message in the wake of cancer diagnosis for him and princess of wealth 
this guy, this, he cannot speak anything of credible, okay? His action is so freaking terrible. It's like the devil is telling people to be nice. All right, let's read some of the comment. I'm laughing at myself here. All right, so there's that here. That's not what I got from his message at all. It's more like, can y'all leave us alone with the negativity, even though we won't leave others alone with negativity. <laughs> like I was saying, it's like the devil's telling people to be nice. Those are your thoughts on it, which are appreciated. However, unlike you, most are seeing it as him urging William to be nice. Looks like Chaz got his hair did for Easter. Looks good. Okay, I like to see Billy and braids. Oh my God, the images that I was seeing. Okay, he looks sick. Okay, Charles can miss me with that. Uh, he's taking away security and Fragmore Cottage from Harry and Meghan. Has uh, forever sunk him in my mind. King Charles, the cool, can now be selling kindness. That's what I'm saying. Anything come from him is like the devil's telling people to be nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's my com That's an ad. There's me here. Okay, he's a baggage for God. I think Princess Di is waiting by the gate of heaven. <laughs> I forgot I wrote that. It's like an hour ago. I think Princess Diana is waiting by the gate of heaven. She'll help God make the decision. Time is ticking. Can't erase what already been done. And he's adding to the same exact path of evilness evilness but saying the opposite of what he's doing okay action speaks louder than words all right speaking in plain english would be so much better wouldn't it especially given what has transpired the last seven years and is still ongoing okay so it's almost the same way that i'm saying here there's that love meg she's whacked okay so let's move to the next one there's more comment here Next tweet, there's that here. He removed security from Archie despite knowing he was the target of death threats from neo-Nazi. There's the same thing here. King Charles called for more kindness and time of need. The squad remember. All right, so there's me. 10 hours ago. Wow. Some nerve calling GIF gift kindness now after seven plus years of abuse of the Sussexes, adult and minors. What is it? Uh, 10 hours ago, he lay low to let Egg get the dragon he deserved. There's me laughing. All of a sudden, he thought the rest of the world will forget all of his stupidity, starting from Princess Diana until now. Chuck, we can't forget your dumb ass fool you have been. Go call back with your three in a marriage wherever you were. All right, so there's that here. I always say, Charles is worse grandfather than Thomas Marco. Uh, no, he didn't. The government did. Okay, he continues to pay for Andrew's security and his private funds. He could have made the same choice for his infant grandson. Okay, so let's see this here, this conversation. Andrew will never work again. Harry does. Archie is a child. Hmm, that's a good little comeback. Okay, so when Harry left, he said he wanted to secure a financial future for himself. Go ahead. But unfortu unfortunately for him, security is only given to working royals. Okay, Camilla wasn't... <laughs> I like the comeback. And she come with receipt too. There's the Guardian. Camilla wasn't working or a royal when Charles started paying for her security. Whatever work she did for him at the time certainly wasn't on behalf of the crown. Mm -hmm. There's that here. He also established trust fund for her children. There's visit here. This is what infuriated me and spare. He can afford to support Megan, but support Camilla's kids. Okay. I blacked this one. He continues to pay for Andrew's security from his private fund. He paid for Camilla's security four years before he married her. He refused to pay for his infant grand hmm, grandson security. Those were all his choices. And this is what I'm saying the, from my previous tweet. Comment to whatever tweet it was. And I was like, it's like the devil's telling people to be nice. And meanwhile, he did all of these things. Yeah, I'm starting to think the UK media wants the British monarchy to end with Charles. Eh? I think so too. They know how these headlines look, giving the royal family treatment of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their children, and Charles and Camilla treatment of Diana. Really? Okay. You know, I'm all for believing people can change their lives when they face a medical crisis. Now saying this has or will happen, guess his action in the next few months will tell. Okay, 
after this that's it and you know the kindness he is calling for is just for himself and kate and the others right not harry and megan <laughs> let's go to the next tweet he's just a baggage for god again this has to do with uh privacy let's see here next tweet okay so your privacy huh Okay, very much engineered by the palace, Prince William's fussy response to text from Prince Harry after Kate's cancer news. <laughs> and that's the leaking that uh, Harry was saying. If this actually happened. Very happy to see both of his sons. I'm sure of that. And he may well want to forgive and forget. And, and we already know that he has left the door open, you know, open to Harry to come back. However, I don't think Wills or Kate or any of the other royals that he has slated as racist and much, much worse will want to have anything to do with him. I mean, I know my paper says it's a show of love that he's here. No, it's not a show of love. You know, he, Harry is a, he's a grown man now. He's nearly 40 years old. He knows that things can befall men of 75. And, 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 why has he waited until his dad has been diagnosed with cancer before he rushes across the ocean to see him? It's been 17 months since he saw his dad. Last saw him at the coronation, where he was but sung. maybe that's we not... Don't no, I'm sorry, no, you don't we wait until don't your dad has cancer. No, we don't, don't know whether they've been speaking over well, we the do telephone. Know. We don't know, well, no, we know, because no, we some reporter has mentioned it. We do know it. that they did speak on his birthday, and Wills' so people immediately leaked that phone call to the that's press. That's what the... And Wills' people immediately leaked that phone call to the press. What Okay, Prince William has reportedly sent a rather frosty response to a text message from Prince Harry after his estranged brother reached out to him privately in the wake of Princess Catherine's cancer news. That makes some... Um, Harry looks good. I don't know what they're thinking here. Because if Harry still trying to reach out to him, Okay, remember, Kate is not uh, Harry's uh, wife. Okay, still has concern for her well-being. Why does William think being petty is a strength? I don't know. I guess th this is the thing that they want people to believe that he's strong is that. But instead, they're making him look like a freaking idiot. Okay, because the only time he gets attention these days is if he is being a... <laughs> There's the word here. There's the here. Let's follow that. Or he's the one trapped inside the Crystal Palace awaiting some princesses punched through the glass ceiling and assisting him in uh, arranging a prism break. Okay, prism. Okay. Words have power. Enumerate a eyelash. Each of us is a book and a library somewhere. I've always wondered why we call them autobiographies when they're subjective. Where is that? Is that a... Okay. Uh, the palace, no royal can dare say anything to Harry because he may leak it. <laughs> I know. And one comment I was saying, how did they know this? I know definitely it's not from Harry. Also the palace, Harry texts William and William responded. Checks note, frostily. Will, you, uh, will he then even add any emojis to be clear? But he was check notes again and condescent when he typed it. Did they say all of that? Oh my God. The fact that we have absolutely no idea what Harry spoke to his father about in their brief and person conversation after the cancer diagnosis is a pretty good indication that Harry is in the leaker. Exactly. Gary okay, really is obviously leaking, but he is saying the cancer diagnosis was engineered by BP. What? <laughs> I don't know. He, I guess... So I'm assuming this is what was said in the article. I did not read the article. But from reading these, it seems like William is saying, don't say this kind of thing. I just want to get out of this marriage. It seems like to me. Okay, the only royals worth a shit, these two. There's that here. Let's move on. Oh my God. This is my last one. There was a tweet that I saw and I bookmarked it. Ah, let me leave that alone. There's a lot of comments. So, next tweet. So, there's that here. Prince William responded to Prince Harry's text, but it wasn't warm or informal. There's another part of it. So, you could see it's William who's leaking it. And we've been known. The royal rats have been saying that. It's William who's leaking. One of them, uh, the immediately after, I'll put that clip.
did speak on his birthday and Will's so people immediately leaked that phone call to that's the press. What uh, so William be leaking and how he told us how it happened, how those things uh, happen in the palace. Okay, I thought his father said, be kind, who is focusing on incandescent rage when your wife, the next queen of England, has cancer. <laughs> they always tell on themselves. There's that here. The same headline that I just read. Okay, I certainly hope he is not going to resurrect them. <laughs> I certainly hope he is not going to resurrection Sunday service with his unforgiveness in his heart. Easter embodied hope, joy, and new beginning. Okay, you don't forgive. God will not forgive you either, which is worse. <laughs> oh, that's an ad. All right. And he's supposed to be the next head of Church of England. What a bad joke. Okay, how did the papers know about such private situation? That's what I was saying. Okay. Billy's team truly lives in La La Land. This makes him look so insecure and ridiculous. He is the future head of state and is acting like a toddler. Somebody needs to rein uh, Jeffrey in. And here we have Will's team leaking again. Uh, after this, that's it. Uh, right? I think you're spot on. Most of the outrage and briefings, I think, has to do with the Sussex not kissing the ring or surrounding apologetic, the media and palace have been trying to shame anyone who spoke against them and they so badly want to add Harry and Meghan on that list. All right, so there's more coming, but that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. Okay, so that's it. No prayers for them. All I have to say, baggage for God. Thank you for watching. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better.